most of the time we're focusing on people's problems. And I want to focus a little differently today on, on things that we can be grateful for this past year, uh, which didn't seem like a great year to be grateful for anything investing wise. The first one is that cash is finally making a comeback. It's been a long time since cash paid anything above diddly. In fact, 10 out of the last 14 years, uh, the rates on three month treasury bills have been below a half percent. And much of the time they were close to zero. Since banks and money market funds reinvest much of their money into treasury bills, the T they follow the T bill rates pretty closely. Now, according to bankrate.com, who uh, follows CD rates around the country, the average CD rate is now up over 1% for the first time in quite a few years. That's a big hue for investors, big hue. The second item I wanna be grateful for is that the bottom has not dropped out of the stock market yet. Segments of the economy have given recessionary readings uh, since early this year. And one indicator that's preceded every recession uh, in, in history is when short-term interest rates exceed long-term interest rates. This is called an inversion. And we've had that condition flashing at us since the beginning of summer. Um, however, the stock market, after recording bear market lows in excess of 20% losses a couple of times, has bounced back each time during the year. But don't get too comfortable. Uh, in 2001 and 2008, which were terrible times for the stock markets and investors there, the crashes that marked the beginning of a bottoming process didn't really begin for a year or more after the initial decline started. So we're not there yet, uh, in my opinion. A recession may still be coming. A lot of indicators uh, suggest that. And if so, this may be a good time to uh, shed some of your weaker stock holdings before recessionary forces start to drive the stock market down again. The third thing that we're grateful for uh, is over the past few years, our bond warnings have saved our clients a lot of money. Uh, for several years, we've warned investors to lighten up on bond holdings. And as you may know, bond prices go up as interest rates go down and vice versa. And so interest rates are about as low as they can go effectively they were at zero, that means that bond prices were at historic highs. And since we believe in selling high so we can buy low, uh, we've been warning clients that this call was a no-brainer. They needed to get out of bonds. And sure enough, uh, 2022 has been the worst year in history for bond investors. So our warnings and actions on their behalf over the past few years saved our clients a lot of money. Uh, the fourth thing to be grateful for is there's still time to move out of bonds. Interest rates have dipped a little bit over the past month or two, buoying bond prices up. Now, history suggests that the headwinds of rising interest rates uh, face, that are facing bondholders this year are going to continue for many years, but it doesn't go in a straight line. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs like we're seeing uh, this last month or two. Uh, for investors who hold bonds, any rally in bond prices like we have going on right now might be a time to pare back existing bond holdings. The next thing to be grateful for, and I, I just love inverse funds. I am so grateful that we have inverse funds uh, in our investment uh, uh, palette of investments we can choose from. Inverse funds are designed to move opposite to an index grouping of stocks or bonds, such as the S&P 500 index. Uh, they're often called short funds because inverse funds go up as a stock market goes down. Now, Shadow Ridge has used them effectively this year a number of times or during very short periods uh, during market declines to cushion portfolio values without having to sell off the whole portfolio. And by continuing to hold the strongest segments of the market while we short the weakest segments of the market, we've been doing very well compared to the indexes this year. The next thing that uh, we have to be grateful for is inflation may have finally peaked. As Ryan said, it doesn't mean the problems are over. It just means that the prices are not going up as fast as they were. They're still going up. Now, Rob Arnott of Research Affiliates has some bad news uh, that goes along with this. He says once that inflation hits 8%, uh, as it did last summer, it's very difficult to get it back under control. His research shows that the average time uh, it takes to get for inflation that has gone up over 8% to, to, stay, to get down to 3% and stay there is 10 years. That's the average time length. And the shortest time period it took to, to get inflation under control is six years. So it sounds like inflation is going to be with us for a while. And the last thing that we have to be grateful for right now is your team at Shadow Ridge. 
We are your designated warriors. And because uh, we've been managing your money, we've been dealing with these issues for you before you even know there's an issue generally. So you just don't have to worry about them. Uh, now, I know we have a nationwide audience today, and uh, some of you may not yet be Shadow Ridge clients. If you're in that group that's not yet a client, I would suggest this is a really good time to call to have a free portfolio review uh, to see how our proactive style of investment management can help you. 